This video was brought to you by Stoenberg, a bedroom planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power, and Marcus Biel. Yo, what's up? We're now at uh, Ionti Dahl. I'm here testing the Volvo, but then I came across this one. I've seen pictures people have been sending me, and this is a new ES8, but with lots of uh, uh, extra sensor on it. And I also asked the driver, nice guy, uh, and okay, let me show you. So I guess we can start here. Hmm. This is like a like a little adapter so that you can charge because it has a GBT port. This is a Chinese version of the ESS. You can see they've been taping some extra cameras there. This seems to be an extra camera. We have LiDAR on top there. We have lots of cameras there. We have infrared sensor there. We have extra sensor there. And you see here we have the regular backup camera, but also an extra camera there. Yeah, 600 horsepower. <laughs> I don't know what those are. Maybe some transmitters, extra camera there. So you see, this camera, and then this car is loaded with equipment. And also, um, the regular ES8 weighs around five, by the way, 2,560 kilos, I think it was with driver. This one weighs over 3,000. <laughs> It's loaded with equipment and you might be wondering, so what, was, what is the point of this? Um, you see a German license plate. So it's, um, by the way, it's, a, it's registered in Germany, but it's a Chinese car. Everything in there is Chinese. Um, what is the point of this car is that it's a data collector. So NEO's approach to self-driving is that, um, well, for most other systems, do we have a Tesla here? No, okay, but the other systems, like the, uh, the iX is pre-programmed the way it will not self-drive, but the assist system is just pre-programmed and that's it. For Tesla also, it's kind of pre-programmed and then sometimes you have to intervene because it's doing some weird shit. The idea with Neo is that you let a person drive it and then the, the, they collect how the the driver drives a certain road and plus all the other sensors lots and lots of data are collected so it's more like they are using this vehicle and the driver it's teaching the system how to drive on Norwegian roads I don't know if maybe they also do some mapping all this but uh, Neo is just gathering lots and lots of data and that will then improve the self-driving so that's the purpose of this car. So I tried to ask the guy, as, as far as I understand, all these sensors you see here, they will of course not be in the regular ES8. They are just here on the data collector vehicle. And then the regular ES8 will have some cameras like you know, uh, but they will not have this weird thing here and whatever. So this is, uh, this is an interesting, yeah, you can see here, by the way, it's uh, one of the earlier uh, ES8s from China. <laughs> <laughs> this is not the European spec car, so uh, yeah. So it's a, it's an interesting uh, way of doing it. You know, I kind of wish that Tesla would also do something like this. That they will, you know, they will learn from the driver because when when I, I phantom braking or weird weird uh, behavior on the super uh, on on the, on Tesla autopilot. If I have to uh, take over or do something corrections, the Tesla should learn what the what every, for example, on one stretch of road, if every car there, yeah, 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 a very good example. When we go to the north here, it will start braking, slowing down on the same spot because it thinks it's a 30 zone or something on the motorway. But every Tesla driver who uses autopilot there. The, the car will slow down and then every driver will speed up. Why does the system learn that, hey, if every driver is, is speeding up there, it's a 30 zone. The vision tells me it's a motorway, but the map tells me it's a 30 zone. Well, let's listen to the vision and listen to the driver. Maybe that's how Neo is doing it. So this is the really great way of improving the, the self-driving and Tesla. They are slowly improving, but I've been driving Tesla for a long time and I think 
the progress in Tesla is really, really slow. I haven't seen the full self-driving yet because it's not in Europe, it's in US. But here you see how at least Neo is doing it. So yeah, um, interesting, <laughs> interesting indeed. Yeah. So what do you guys think? Huh? Will Neo in the future be on the same level as Tesla? Will it even be better than Tesla? Well, they're at least uh, gathering something, but I guess the, the, the limitation with this approach is that you actually have to have one or many of these data collectors and they have to be driving all over the place. The strength of Tesla is that every Tesla is a potential data collector, but it could seem like Tesla is not utilizing the pot full potential. And also Tesla doesn't have all the sensors that this car has. So uh, yeah, interesting, interesting. <laughs> now we've seen it. Oh yeah, maybe you guys want to see the charging speed, but I think this car, since it's, um, since it's a Chinese car, then it might be limited on, uh, on how fast it's charging. Let's just show you here. Yeah, so uh, only 56 kilowatt. The European cars, uh, they are charging fast. Oh yeah, by the way, um, ever since I tested the Neo ES8 uh, last year, they have boosted up the speed. I was getting maximum 109 kilowatt. Nowadays, people are getting 125 kilowatt max. So I should borrow ES8 again and do some more tests. Plus, of course, do the 1000 kilometer challenge with battery strap. Yes. So I, I have a lot of stuff to catch up with Neo. So yes, I just have to finish test like this Volvo. Yeah. And then we go back to Neo. So anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.